Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pete. You're watching PJ Cooper, the model builder, and have we got a nice build to do again? The Porsche 917KH. Hmm, <sighs> not really. The cap says it all. And the caption and what you saw in the description as well. So I can tell you something else, but we're going on with the Ecto. And we've got stage number eight here. A really nice uh, piece of parts, as you can see right here. You've got uh, the frame body, and we're gonna make that a, a massive, massive uh, chassis. So uh, looking forward to that. <laughs> Of course, this is a, a build by Hero Collectors under the Eagle Moss brand. Have a look at their websites. Uh, there are a few de different websites, UK, uh, in the US, uh, US uh, EU, and others as well. Now, they've branched out to uh, Europe and other countries as well. So we can all have a look at it. Uh, well, I don't know if everybody can do that, but uh, I can. And uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying this one. So uh, without further ado, let's get to the build. All right, so this is the magazine, as you can see. I like these pictures. Stage is 23, as you can see, which is the rear chassis and some uh, fender liners. Uh, front fender liners. And some more parts for the radiator and the engine front wall, horns and junction box. Control box, battery box, oil reservoir, and so on. And this is where it all starts with stage 23, rear chassis and fender liners. As you can see in this picture here, we're going to have the whole length of the the car uh, here. And uh, if if you if you look at what it's there already, I, I'm going to have to take that away if we're doing the uh, ecto because. Um, I haven't got space if I don't do that. But uh, if we have a look at the other ones as well, we have the front fender liners and the radiators, radiator, tor, then the horns and the junction box, as you can see right there. We're building quite a thing for those horns and putting the radiator on that front part. Uh, not yet, but in the next one, maybe we're putting the junction box on or the control box, and we're putting the oil on it. The oil, or what is it called? The oil reservoir, and then we're putting that piece in the front, connect it, and then we're gonna read all about the legend of Wow Bill Murray. No, you can read if you want to, Mr. Venkman. Okay, let's get to the build. I've prepared uh, the screws that I need in this stage. I will do that in the next stage as well. Stage 23 is that massive panel, but we're not gonna do anything with that yet. And I can see right there that they've put some extra black on. We're going to start with that, what were they called? The shock absorbers and the bracket for the shock absorbers. Okay, now let's see. We're going to put it down like that. This is not going to hold up. Because there are locating, there's a locating pin there, but we can put them up like so. They're coming towards the front a bit. So we're going to put them on like that. It's not clearly shown in the picture. Locate the first stroke absorber line. The middle of the fix no, doesn't say. Okay, but we're going to put them in with two AP screws. I put them like that, and uh, we'll see what we have to do with that later on. We're going to get that in, like so, with that part up. And we're going to align it right there. As you can see, locating a pin right there and hole right there and then the two screw holes and of course we are going to use some J jps there 
don't fully tighten it. This is a advice I can give you for aligning the parts that you're screwing in. If there are more screws than one, like what we have here, use the first few screws to align it and only tighten it when you've got all screws in. This makes sure that the alignment is perfect. I think we need to put those down because we're going to work on the other side. We're going to put those on. I fix them with DM screws. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. This one is not going in all the way, but it's affixed properly because of the other screws. And we're getting the chassis in and putting a damn lot six of those LMs in. And we're going to do it that way. Well, that is the length of the chassis. I don't think you know, the top camera just, just about gets it. It's larger than the, the, the mat under it. Let me put that stuff away. And now we are gently going to put that piece of the rear chassis on with 10 screws. These are CM screws. For the alignment, for the better alignments, first lightly screw them in and fully screw them in when everything all screws are in that guys is stage 23 done one two three three four five six seven eight nine ten screws in total putting the rear chassis and the fender line is together that's 20 Four. Now we're going to turn it around because we're working on the front here. We're going to put the fender liners on, on the front for the front. And is there a certain way? Is there a left and a right? That is one. And that is two. So, one, two, three, four DMs. So we're going to put two CMs there and NMs on those two. NMs, CMs. Okay. We're going to the next part. And we can put the car away. But I have to make some room. Wow, look at that. <laughs> so we're still on that one and we're going to make that radi radiator and that whole thing and we're going to put that whole thing together those are all AP HPs DPs no uh, D and H okay now we are going to start with that one and we are going to put that with those uh, pins into those holes and we're going to put two uh, DP as I think is in here yeah. two DP screws top is on two uh, DP screws and we're going to put the bottom or the the back of the radiator on and we're gonna get some screws out uh, one more I think we need six in total okay we've got six HP screws here I'm going to try them with my electric one six HP screws in Next thing to do is to put that filter cap on. It's it's a D-shaped 
or half moon shape, whatever you want to call it, pattern. So just push it on as it shown. It's on. And the last thing we do is put that flow. Is it? What is it called? Was flow, flow, flow something? The overflow uh, pipe in there. And that is stage 24 done with, as you can see, the full chassis done. Or at least the length from the front to the back done. And I'm going to take a short break and I will be back. Okay, this is stage 23. As you can see right there, we're going to start with that one and those two. And let's see, they're, they're, they're in like that. As you can see, there's a locating pin there. They're going to go on like that and we're going to put two DM screws on that. It is a little bit strange, but there's both, they're, they're showing it on the picture as well. Uh, I will share it on, on, on the screen as well. They're both looking the same way. I would have thought this would have been too different, but no, they're the same. We're going to put those two together. I'm going to leave that to the side for a moment and we're going to put that on later. As you can see, there's a locating lug, so can't be anything else. This is the junction box, an HP screw right in there, like so. And then you've got two little things gone. It is on an angle, guys. That's it should be like that. It's a bit strange, but as you can see, it should be. There's no other way to put it in anyway. So I'm going to put two EMs in there. The junction box is on as well. Oh, and we're going to put two of those fitting walls. wall there's the, the front walls now we start with the one with a lot of screws in them and that's gonna go on this side as you can see there's a little outtake there so it fits over that other thing that we put on earlier and we're going to put it on right there. One, two screws, and they are the DMs. And we need them for the other one side as well. And here we go, they're in. Well, we're going to work on those horns. Okay, guys, this is, um, have a, you need to have a proper look at how those brackets go on this one. Uh, that one is pretty straightforward, but the other one isn't. And I put it in the wrong way. But it can be corrected, so don't worry too much. It's just a case of turning that bracket around. This is how they are. They're pretty darn close together. But uh, that's all right. We're going to put the... Um, we're putting it with the radiator on. Four DPs, one, two, three, four. Four screws are in. It's HPs. We're gonna put that aside in 25 and we're gonna get the car in because we're gonna to need to do something with that pipe. And we're just, I'm just warming it up so it's, it's more malleable. Yep, got the right one that needs to be. So we put that one in there and we're waiting for the connection in on the front here and we're going to put that there. That was stage 
25 done, guys. We're going to the next one. And this is what we are doing now. This has got to do with the battery books, I think. Yeah, the control books, the battery books, and the oil reservoir. Well, we're going to get everything out. Two tiny little pipes. And a lot more tiny little things in there as well. The battery. I think this has got to do with the oil. And these little parts here. Oh, that little thing I did not see. And which is the... The fitting the control box, so we're going to put that over. Okay, we're going to start with the two DPs first. Putting those two together. Turn around and screw that in. IPs, and we're going to put that on the, the frame. There we go. That's on. There we go. We're going on to the next one. We're leaving that to the side for a moment. So I'm just going to leave it right there. And there's a little notch there. And we've got those two parts. Turn it upside down and we're going to put two DPs in there. And there we go. Two of those DPs in. And they're going to go on this, on the, eh, on this side. Uh, we are going to put IPs in there. So that's what we have. We have the radiator, the control box, the battery, and uh, that's the control box. Sorry, that's the uh, ignition box or what? I can't remember. So we're going to put those two together. And that's going to go... So that's that oil cap on there. I don't know how it needs to be situated, but that, that depends on how you screw it in. Okay. Yeah, those tiny pieces can be... Put it to the side for a moment. They're gonna, they're gonna be put on like that with two, an EM and a DM. <laughs> yep. Two different screws. We've got that one in. Then we can put this one in. So it was pretty hard to put in, but as you saw, I took out one of the horns so I could push on that little thing to go into the, yeah, the little pin to go into the hole. And I'm going to put EM, EMs in the side, I think. I'm going to start on this side. And of course, I'm going to put one on the other side as well. Okay, now it's a case of putting that horn back on. And this is going to be fiddly. Okay, Whew. that was a hard one to do. Okay, we're gonna put the pipe that came out of this one onto that. There we go. Like that there. 
Then we've got, I need to have a look at this properly. I don't, yeah, we're staying on this side. We're going to put that tiny little bracket in there. Like so, and we're going to put an EP in there. As you can see, in right there. And on the other twos, twos, we're going to put in those pipes. Because they are going to go on the batteries. But they are a push to fit. And is there a difference between those two? No. Okay. Yep. So one is going to go from that point to that point, and the other one is going from that point to that point. Yeah. So this one is going to go right here. And let's see how this one gets in. We put that on that one. And that one we put right there. As you see, wiggling helps. So, one like there, one right there. And that was that for this build, guys. Wow, guys, have a look at that. It's all the way, it's sticking out all the way end. It, I'm protecting the shock absorbers, that's why it's uh, sticking out a bit. It's a bit hard to put them away because the chassis is uh, stopping it from going all the way up. But, uh, wow, uh, it, it took me quite some time. So I may cut it up in two, I don't know yet. As you can hear, I've, uh, I've <laughs> been toiling on it, but uh, I, I'm really happy with uh, how it came out. And it's it's all in position. The, the, the old radiator in this in front and all the battery stuff in there, it's, it was a little bit hard. You know to get those pipes in there uh, properly and uh, it wasn't it, it was hard because it was all the way down at, at the lower part of the engine but you couldn't get from it to the uh, from the other side so uh, that did not work uh, made it easier or anything like that but that is the build done and uh, Eagle Moss Hero Collectors has done a really nice job with this one uh, thus far and uh, I'm really happy with it and uh, and I hope to go on, I hope to do a lot more on this one, and I will do a lot more on this one. I don't know when the next one's coming in. They come in every four weeks or so, three to four weeks. 21 days is usually the, the amount of, uh, so that's, um, yeah, three weeks. But uh, it takes a little while to get to me, so uh, by that time it's a month already. So uh, let's just see and wait till uh, we get the next part in. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time on any of my other builds. Please like, subscribe and pass it on and uh, I do hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.